the atheist. Good morning. What is your question, comment, and or concern? Uh, good morning. So you're an atheist? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, I don't know how familiar you are with me and uh, what's been going on in the past couple of days. Or, you know, it's, it's more like years, but uh, much more... Um, a much more concerted effort on my part and a part of other people to find atheists who can rationally defend their position, uh, which is that there is no God. And so um, I would like to know from you if you could do that, because right now we haven't uh, we haven't succeeded in our mission of finding even one uh, rational atheist who can defend that position. Well, that's a very good question. And the answer is, I don't know. Why don't we give it a shot? OK, so uh, there is no God because. Because I don't believe in God. Well, that's that's a non sequitur fallacy. That's the appeal to like incredulity or like appeal to your beliefs. That's a fallacy. It doesn't follow because you don't believe in God that therefore there is no God. Well, I guess in that case, according to you and other people, I'm not a logical person. Okay. Do you do you want to uh, follow logical beliefs? Uh, not logical beliefs, but are you are you interested? Are you would you consider yourself a rational person? Oh, absolutely. I've uh, spent my uh, career IRL being logical. No question about it. Okay. And uh, if you were confronted uh, with the fact that you cannot rationally and logically, or, you know, logically defend your position, um, would you, does that mean as a rational person, you would reject that position until you can find a rational basis to have it? Well, I, I'll tell you one thing, uh, what I like to do. Uh, I, I like to uh, answer one question at a time, if that's okay. And I think you asked me two questions. So if, if you want to just ask me one question at a time, I'd, I'd be more than happy to uh, uh, answer it. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I see that <clears throat> Helos is uh, raising Helos' hand in Helos. Uh, I want to give Jay a couple of minutes, and then we'll bring Helos up. So if you want to, you know, I think you asked me two questions at least. If you want to do one at a time, I'd be happy to answer them. Yeah, I'm just curious as to if you consider yourself a rational person, which in, which presumably means that you're not going to be following beliefs that are irrational and can't be defensible, then why uh, are you holding to atheism if you can't defend it? Okay, well, uh, that's more than one question, but uh, uh, I'll answer that. Y you already asked me that question, if I'm a rational person, but I will answer the same question again. No, no, I said, no, no, that's, yes. not, that's not the question I asked. Uh, I, 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 uh, hold, uh, 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 sir, I sir, if it, sir, I didn't interrupt you. I would, I would ask that you give me the same respect. And replays are on and clips are on. So if anybody says that no, that's not what I said. All they have to do is clip it or replay it. Trust me, sir. One thing I know for a fact, uh, I am very honest. I never lie. So why don't we try it again? Why don't you ask me your question again? Okay. I said, if you you told me, I'm, I'm granting you what you told me. You said that you consider yourself a rational person. You said you, you try every day to be logical or to have come to logically uh, logically. Uh, valid, logically sound conclusions. Um, if that's the case, why are you holding to a position that you cannot defend? Well, I think I can defend it. Why do you think I can't defend it? Because when I asked you earlier to defend the falsity of God, you gave a fallacy. It was, a, it was, what, it was a non oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Pl please continue. I apologize for interrupting you. I thought you were finished. I was just saying it's a non sequitur fallacy. It doesn't follow from the fact that you don't believe in God, that therefore there is no God. Why? Any more than if somebody doesn't believe that the earth is round, it doesn't, or if, yeah, if somebody doesn't believe that the earth is round, it doesn't mean that the earth isn't round, right? So your belief state doesn't, if so facto, determine what is actually the case. Well, as far as the Earth not being round, I'm aware of the flat earthers and quite frankly, a trigger alert, uh, it's bullshit that the earth is flat. Uh, there's clearly documented evidence that uh, the earth is round. There's scientific evidence that the earth is round. I mean, are, do you think the earth is flat? Uh, no, that's not the issue. Oh, the you're the one that, uh, hold on, hold on. You're the one that brought it up. 
yeah, but you're not, you didn't focus on what I was saying. It's not uh, uh, the uh, issue of whether or not the earth is actually round. The point is that your belief as to whether or not the earth is round does not determine whether the earth is actually round. So I don't believe the earth is flat, right? Of course not. Um, but th the point is that I'm giving an example of people who believe certain things or who don't with or with, who withhold belief in certain things. And um, the, the mere fact that they believe or withhold belief does not ipso facto determine the truth of the proposition that they either believe or don't believe. So in the same way, you, the fact that you don't believe in God does not mean that God does not exist. Because uh, I don't believe, so I mean, if that, if that followed, right, if your belief state just by itself followed or entails the truth of a proposition, then I don't believe atheism is true. I don't believe the proposition that there is no God. Therefore, atheism is false. Uh, you know what? Uh, you, uh, amongst 90% of the population, all agree. I'm in the minority. Uh 90% of the population of both the United States and the world believe in God. 10% uh, do not. So you, sir, are in very good company. Most people on the planet agree with you. Uh, uh, not, not that uh, I'm not logical and not that my thinking is fallacious, that God exists. M most people believe that I am logical. Most people believe that I make sense. Uh, most people believe um, that uh, I'm a good person to know. But but go ahead. What's your next question? Well, I, you don't seem to agree that you gave a fallacy. Is that is that correct? You don't agree? That is absolutely correct. Okay. Does it follow that if you don't believe in God, that God does not exist? Well, I'm not sure what you mean by, quote, does it follow, close quote. Uh, but I know uh, uh, you're, you've interrupted me for the second time, and I will. that's the last time you're going to interrupt me. If you interrupt me again, I'm going to move you back down to the audience. Are we clear? Yeah, I thought you were done speaking. I wasn't. And we can prevent this from happening right now. Go ahead and go on mute. Go ahead and go on mute. I know you know how to do it. There you go. When I'm done speaking, I will say I'm done speaking. Okay, I give people two chances to interrupt me. You've used your two chances. When I'm finished, I will say I'm done, and then you can unmute. If you interrupt me a third time, you're being moved down to the audience. Okay. <sighs> um, I'm not trying to flip anybody. I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. I'm not trying to point out that you and 90% of the population who believe in God or either, are either wrong or think illogically. However, you clearly are trying to point out, or it appears that way, that I am not logical in my thoughts. It appears you're trying to point out that any atheist or anybody who does not believe in God do not think logically. Okay, presuming that's true, there are, there are about 700 million people on the planet that do not believe in God. <laughs> there are 6.5 billion people on the planet that do believe in God. So <clears throat> if I follow what you're saying, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that all of those uh, 7 billion, uh, pardon me, 700 million people that do not believe in God are not logical. I do not subscribe to that thought. I am finished. You can go ahead and comment. Take as much time as you want. Yeah, that's not an answer to my question. The question I asked you very clearly was whether or not your belief state uh, necessarily entailed the non-existence or existence of God. You didn't answer that question. It's a yes or no question. I didn't hear a clear answer to that. So uh, I'll ask it again. You told me that you don't believe in God, which means that therefore there is no God, right? Because the question I asked you is God does not exist because, right? So the God does not exist because X, 
you put that into um, a premise and then the conclusion, you just say, God does not X, therefore God does not exist. And whatever X is, uh, would, would entail or necessitate the falsity of God. So what you're telling me, by ask, by telling me that your belief state, you don't believe in God as, as a, a value for X, you're telling me that your, your non-belief in God entails that there is no God. You haven't explained to us how that's the case. It's a non sequitur, but if you want, if you believe it isn't, you have to explain why it's not the case. You have to give a rebuttal, not just, you know, repeat the same claim over again. Thank you for going on mute. Please do not go off mute until I say I'm finished. Thank you very much. And I see that Helios is coming up or is raising his hand. And Jay, I've given you about 10 minutes and uh, we're going to try, uh, we're going to finish up with Jay and then we'll go to Helios uh, once again, uh, I'm not trying to prove to anybody uh, that I am logical or rational or that my beliefs make sense. Clearly, you and I, Red Robin, we disagree. And I guarantee you one thing, one thing is for sure, that uh, I am not going to change your mind. Uh, you want to believe in God? That's fine. You want to think that I'm not logical? That's fine. That's what makes this fantastic country called the United States of America great. You think I'm not logical? You think I don't make sense? Not a problem. It's perfectly okay. As far as me saying the same thing over and over, uh, you may not think that I am directly answering your questions, and I suspect that some people will come up and if they want to, they can re-ask me those questions. I have no problem with that. But um, I believe I have answered your questions. But uh, you are not an attorney, and I am not a witness on a stand. And um, therefore, uh, you're going to, I'm done. Go ahead and go off mute, and you can follow up. And then I want to go to Helios. What was the question I asked you? Pete's the hell out of me. So you don't even know what the question was. So then you're telling me that you answered the question. You don't even know what the question I asked you. You weren't focusing. So you are being evasive. You are being evasive. That's what it is. So, I mean, look, you'll you'll probably move me down to the audience after this because you want to talk to Helios. But I want to make sure it's clear for the audience. He just completely evaded and dodged my question. He hasn't provided a logical uh, or arg rational argument for the falsity of God. He hasn't done so. And he hasn't given a rebuttal to my objections either. So with that, if you don't want to, if you don't want to continue with me, that's fine. But it's clear now to everyone in the audience that that's the case. You haven't defended your atheism. You failed in that task. All right. Well, uh, surprisingly enough, I'm not going to move you down to the audience. I'm going to keep you on stage as long as you do not interrupt me or the other people that come up. If you want to contribute in turn, that's fine. But uh, you've been now talking, you've been talking to me for about 15 minutes. Uh, defend my position. I'm not here to defend my position. That's not what I'm about. Uh, I'm here uh, to have a show, run a room, provide some decent and uh, reasonable entertainment. And uh, if you don't like it, quite frankly, you can leave. But, but I'm not going to move you to the audience. I'm, unless, of course, you interrupt again. I'm going to bring up Helios. And let's see. Helios. Hi. hi. Welcome to Ask the Atheist. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you on.